man, there is just something about the sound when a transformer transforms that is just so fucking cool. So Transformers Rise of the Beasts is the fifth or no, it's the sixth entry in the Transformer series, I think. I think it's six because there's four main movies. There's the Bumblebee um, prequel and then there's this movie, which is also a prequel, but a sequel to Bumblebee because it takes place in 1994. It's not really explained why they go back in time for this after having four like movies that take place in a row in terms of the timeline, you know, but I guess this is sort of a sequel to Bumblebee, because Bumblebee took place in the 80s, this movie takes place in 1994, so I guess it's a sequel to the prequel to the main timeline. I don't know, it's never really explained, so it's just, it's like, whatever. But, the Transformers are back, and so is the great, the legendary, the mighty Peter Cullen is once again Optimus Prime because that man is Optimus Prime. Without him, there is no Transformers. When that unfortunate day comes and Peter Cullen passes, Transformers is done. It cannot be continued. It has to stop because there is no other Optimus Prime. Anyway, in this movie, he is joined by Bumblebee, who we know, and then some Transformers that we don't know. Or, well, fans of Transformers in general, the series, the cartoons, the comics... You know, they're ones we know, like R.C. R.C. makes her debut in the series, which is really fucking cool. Uh, so he's joined by R.C. He's joined by Mirage, who is voiced by Pete Davidson. And this is the first time ever I do not hate a Pete Davidson performance. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm not a Pete Davidson fan. I do not like Pete Davidson. But, like, this is the first time ever I haven't wanted to just tell him to shut the fuck up. He is great as Mirage, but that's not all. We are introduced to the Maximals, led by Optimus Primal, voiced by the equally as legendary as Peter Cullen, Ron fucking Perlman, and he absolutely kills it as Optimus Primal. That's not all, the great Peter Dinklage voices Scourge, a minion of Unicron, who is voiced by Coleman Domingo. Domingo does a fantastic job as Unicron. Dinklage does a great job as Scourge. Like, both of them are equally as, like, fucking scary. Now, honestly, this is probably the best Transformers movie since, well, I guess Bumblebee. But, because Bumblebee was amazing. Bumblebee was absolutely amazing. That was probably the best movie in the series. But in terms of, like, the main storyline, I mean, it's all the main storyline, really, because it's the same Bumblebee. Okay, so it's like the second best Transformers movie. After Bumblebee and the third is like the first movie. And I think that is because, and the reason Bumblebee is so fucking good is because Michael Bay didn't direct it. And you know what? I am a Michael Bay fan, but he does compensate a lot when it comes to like explosions and like just crazy shit. And he sacrifices story. This one, Rise of the Beasts, it's got a halfway decent story. It keeps you interested, not just because of, like, the explosions and the battles and, like, you want to know, does Unicron succeed? Though, that is one of the main issues I have with this, is that there is no sense of urgency. Because this takes place in 1994, and therefore before the first Transformers movie from 2007... I want to say 2007, of course Unicron's not going to succeed. We know this because the world is still there because we have Transformers and we have Revenge of the Fallen and we have, uh, I don't even remember all the taglines for the other ones, uh, Dark of the Moon and the one with the Dinobots. So while this movie is really, really fun and it's exciting and it's got a halfway decent story, you don't really care at the same time because you know the Autobots and the Maximals are going to succeed because of the 2007 movie. One thing I thought was very, very exciting, though, was the tease for the sequel. And it wasn't during a mid-credits or end-credits scene. It was at the end of the movie. It was part of the main part of the movie. It's part of the story. Now, I'm not going to say what it is because it is a massive, huge spoiler. The 
for the first time ever in live action, we are going to see this. Like, we've seen it in the cartoons, we've seen it in the comics, but to see this possibility of this po potential sequel come to life on the big screen is going to be exciting as hell. Ultimately, Transformers, Rise of the Beasts. It's, it is very fun, it's exciting, the voice acting is amazing, um, the hu the humans, the, you know, uh, Anthony Ramos, Dominique Fishback, who I loved Dominique Fishback. First time I saw her in something was that show Swarm on Prime, and she was just fucking mesmerizing. She was so good. So it was great to see her on the big screen, and, you know, they were, they were good, but, you know, I don't go to see Transformers for the human part of the story. I want to see robots fighting. But they were good. Again, though, the sense of urgency... And, like, the worrying for characters, it's completely out the window because we know the future of the franchise. That's the issue with a prequel or a sequel to a prequel because we know what happens. It's like, who cares? Because we know they're going to win. We know they're going to succeed. But again, still, this of Transformers, I think, is one of the best going to rank up there in terms of overall greatness I guess. Not better than Bumblebee. It's honestly going to take a lot to surpass Bumblebee. Bumblebee was just so fucking good. Especially Hailey, Hailey Steinfeld. She was just so good in that. But yeah. It's, it's a good movie. It's a fun movie. It's just you know what's going to happen. You can predict what's going to happen almost immediately. But I still give Transformers Rise of the Beasts because it's going to continue which is even more exciting because the whole Beast Wars storyline in Transformers is is like a, it's a big thing so to see it continue is it's going to be awesome so I cannot wait <laughs> but if, I give Transformers Rise of the Beasts a B plus did you enjoy the review make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show and i will see you next time